Okay. This is a rat snake brought in by a client that actually has eaten a ceramic egg. This is not the first time we've seen this. Anyway, as you cruise down the body of the snake, you go, where is the egg? Oh, that must be it. And then you go down the bottom and it's thin again. And you go all the way to the end. It's still thin. You come all the way back forward again. You go, where is that egg? Oh, damn, that's big. Anyway, he's now going under anesthesia. That's why he's so, uh, so slow. I have already been bit twice, so uh, don't tell anybody. Um, <laughs> anyway, welcome to the world. This is the most fun I have had all week. Just too cool. Okay, same rat snake or the rat snake with egg and belly. Oh. We call these snake tubes because we can actually put a poisonous snake in here whose head is just big enough for this area here. Okay, the anesthesia comes out of this tube and is delivered to our little buddy here. And we can knock our buddy out. And as soon as he's relaxed, I'll pull his head out a little bit more. And then we'll prep him for surgery and he will be an eggless snake sometime soon in the near future. Anyway, in the meantime, we're just waiting for him to go under anesthesia. But we use this technique because it's hard for us, hard for him to try to bite us. We can actually control him pulling out by holding snake and tube at the same time. <laughs> Please forgive the Karen Carpenter in the background. Most of my girls are on diet. <laughs> anyway, didn't mean to say that. Sorry, Karen. Rest in peace. Um, but anyway, back to the snake. He's uh, about to go under. He's been given a small dose of propofol, but unfortunately he just does not think it's going to work for him. And that is our buddy in there. It's a pretty handsome little male snake. And there's our egg. Alright, we'll get that out in a few.
All right, even the snakes get in the Halloween spirit. Ooh. Hey, dude, he wants out of this joint. <laughs> Right. Yes, this is actually a medical procedure. Our buddy was having a difficult time shedding for those disbelievers in the background. Yes, it is. So we wet the pillowcase and put him back in it so he can actually just uh, stay moist and get his, his new shed off a little bit easier. Seeing how he has sutures and, and difficulties that we've placed upon him. Oh. Anyway, so uh, this is him. He's in the Halloween spirit. You know, so don't be scared. It really is a small snake. And those of you who are scared of snakes, ha! Huh, I laugh at you. It's like, dude, that's not an egg. I came in here with an egg in my belly. Like, hey, dude, what's up? Square. Touch the screen. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. And how'd you do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do it now. Because okay? I was just tapping it. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Just... Okay. For those of you. <laughs> My clients who have mice, please change the channel. Please change the channel. Ordinarily, I wouldn't videotape this, but you know, I'm so proud of the work that we did on his, uh, on his stomach. And egg removal. Did I just gotta brag? Mm. 
Who's you hear in the background? It's Joe mixing us up some cocaine. <laughs> Actually, he's making some drugs for our tumor kitty. Oh, mouse is turning blue. Oh no, it was a pretty pink when it came in. Okay, to it keep from having. Oh yeah, it was a male. It is a male. It's still a male. I don't. I don't think death actually cancels out your sex, does it? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh -oh. Snake is pronounced him dead. We're, we're unraveling here. Sorry, little mousey. Took that one out. I see you took that one. Yep. Was. Are you snatching real good quickly? In about two seconds. Faster than we could turn on the camera. Oh, Y'all didn't call brother. I wanted to see. He's a black man out in the dark. Well, we didn't want you to change your underwear again. We know how many pairs you come here with, and you're like on your quota. Dude, I don't care about snakes eating rats. <laughs> now, Randy, who was over there by Randy, and he was doing the, doing the, little, the little kitty four-wheel thing? He did it, he just sparking and putting gas everywhere. And I'm like, dude, you going to blow us up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, you ain't got anything. Oh, yeah, you need Oh, I wanted to see it. They left me out. <laughs> Whiny baby. He's about to get it in. Yeah, they left me out because I'm black. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing that card again. No, I'm playing that card. Every you know, time. he's a white mouse. We That's couldn't, right. we couldn't rub that in. It's a snake and mouse world. This place is so cruel. <laughs> As I'm watching the screen, I keep seeing all the red in the background, thinking there's blood everywhere. Just so you guys know in this film, it's because I am dressed in red. <clears throat> It's not blood, it's just the Nutty Doctor. Ooh, he's looking up. Now, I was listening to my, uh, my beer podcast earlier, and uh, I think I could be safe in saying that if you're going to eat a mouse, you need to follow it with a nice, stiff IPA. <laughs> I agree. I concur with that. Beer, beer mouse pairing. And I mean, that booger is eating him. He was hungry. Oh, cool picture. Look at that. He got the whole deal. Poor little he mouse. Got the whole mouse. In, In his, his mouth. mouth. <laughs> Everybody In knows his that mouth. Wow. He didn't take no time to eat him either. Dude, I'm about to swallow the whole thing. Now he's gonna bark. It's a compliment to the chef. Is the tail down yet? No. Not yet. 
Okay, for those of you that were watching and then got cut off. I'd have finished getting his tail down, but but Terry just won't quit calling. And now I'm gonna call her back and get cussed out. This is how my luck works. I'm doing something cool, taking a decent video, doing something beautiful here, studying Mother Nature this best, and then I get to hear my favorite mistake come across the phone.